Yo, 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 yo. It's another lovely day, another morning. So to bring you over here at the Queen's Wharf, come and check it out. Progress report. Hey guys, how you going? It's another beautiful morning in Brisbane. A bit chilly, but it's all good. We're here. Thanks for all my subscribers who are subscribing and um, helping this channel grow. I totally appreciate it. And I thought I'd come over here and show you what's happening over here. I think my day off, so I'll just uh, come here and have a quick, quick squeeze for you guys so you can uh, be updated and uh, be up to speed. So, without further ado, do, let's check out what's happening over here. This project obviously is taking off. Remember a couple of months ago when I first started filming this job? Uh, for those who haven't seen my videos, just check out from the bottom. Uh, from the bottom to up to where we are now you will see how much progress these guys have made obviously this is a very big footing it's a big job massive so you can see how they're bringing it in stages and coming up you can see all the jumps over there there's another big one here coming up being set up they put in all the shutters outside shutters on that one there so we got what one two three four and there's another two there five six so there might be another one over there not yet i don't know yet but we will check it out as we go we'll have a look check out these columns though these columns are massive look how big this one is put it around and on the far corner there check those out good finishing too one thing guys i've noticed is these columns are um, pretty much taken over Brisbane I don't know if they are all over the other places in the world but I presume there would be it's a masterpiece of engineering I tell you you seen those ones coming around now it's uh, pretty common now back in the days you would just have to get those built I think those are mains the main columns that do like probably outside the building these are mostly inside inside the building those ones are mainly exterior so they're structural they hold up the whole tower so they have to be pretty much joined um, into the main slab so these bottom ones are pretty much just like props these ones here they're pretty much like props but uh, they still hold the weight but they're probably not as crucial but the big main ones which are very crucial which are on the outer perimeter you can see they always have to be um, molded into the steel like they all have to be tied up into the steel i mean into the slab pardon my french but uh, yeah uh, obviously this job is going pretty well i like how they keep it all nice and tidy like obviously being a long weekend it's it's very important to um keep the job clean like i, I was saying in my previous videos um so basically where they have the uh the screens over there that's the main priority that's gonna be the main road over there so majority of the deliveries will be happening on that ramp the, so rumor has it that they have to get that all joined up to get to the to get to the other end so that the road can keep flowing through and um, mainly for their deliveries to get all the trucks off the road because having them close the road it cost them a lot of money to pay to the council and uh, also just efficiency when it's within the radius it means all these cranes here all these cranes here can pretty much access the radius so if every de any delivery that it's meant for that specific say if the delivery was delivered there and it was meant for here there's no double handling for the cranes so the, the cranes don't go into um, each other's radius but with this uh, with this crane here I don't think it will be able to reach to where that um, delivery bay is gonna be we we'll call it delivery bay for now so Probably they will have to um, um, handball it over to that crane and then this crane will pass it over to this one over here. So, uh, they don't seem to have shortage of cranes here but looks like um, they pretty have much enough cranes here. I don't know if it's just me but looks like that crane is a little bit on the piss. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> on the piss. On the piss. <laughs> hey guys. I've been off the piece for a while, so going three months. Three months off the piece. So my challenge is to go for half the year 
and if God willing, we'll see. I might go the whole year. So let's keep it going. So yeah, it's good to get a bird's eye view from this side and um, just to see how much work is in here. I'll just let you appreciate what's going on over here. Eh? Pretty awesome. I like those shutters. I think it would be pretty hot though in summer being in those in these um, jumps. So we'll see how the whole thing will come up and I will come over and um, do some more filming for you guys yeah as we progress so as usual from here from Bris Vegas Brisbane the city of the Sun this is Mambo over here don't forget to subscribe share and like so yeah thank you very much for your time and um, be blessed stay safe too with the, this coronavirus is going around Hopefully everyone comes out on scape. Well, wish you all luck. All right, take it easy. Have a lovely day, a blessed day. And uh, yeah, check out my other videos that I did, the last video that I did on um, uh, suicide. Uh, a lot of these will come in play too, so especially in these hard times. So yeah, so we got a lot going on. So, uh, so take it easy. And uh, yeah, as like I always say, don't forget to subscribe, leave the thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to put the notification bell button and uh, keep those thumbs coming up. Keep making more videos, yeah? Bye-bye. Au revoir.